Hi y'all, I'm Trader Bubba. Don't forget I'm not a financial advisor, just a redneck with a YouTube channel. And today we're talking about the annoying truth of silver spot price. We're gonna kick off the new year right, and when I hit 500 subscribers, I'm giving away this one ounce rare, fully painted Tetris silver round. So don't forget to like, subscribe, stay tuned for future videos, because here at Trader Bubba's, we're all about building and protecting our wealth. Well, silver spot price is dropping. All right, relax, relax. But uh, why? The Fed set to release its latest minutes, an important signal to the markets for where the Fed is steering the economy. After that meeting, the Fed announced that it was going to be raising interest rates by 25 basis points. These are backward looking minutes at that meeting, but it's important because after that meeting, we had more economic data that came out. We had a hotter than expected CPI print. We also had a uh, tighter than expected labor market for January, even though you had those seasonal adjustments. And more importantly, we had two Fed members who are non-voting members who said that they saw a case for a 50 basis point rate hike. By the way, those Fed minutes could give a glimpse of the next policy move. So you could see uh, higher interest rates because of that, of course, with that policy move. And so if that happens, then the market could be anticipating that the dollar would go higher. When the dollar goes higher, we do see assets that are denominated in U.S. dollars go lower. Come again. When the dollar goes higher, we do see assets that are denominated in U.S. dollars go lower. Say what? When the dollar goes higher, we do see assets that are denominated in U.S. dollars go lower. <laughs> One more time. When the dollar goes higher, we do see assets that are denominated in U.S. dollars go lower. So as interest rates continue to rise, that means assets like gold and silver. <laughs> Thank you for joining us here at Trader Bubba's. If you love this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below so we can start communicating. A lot of my content tends to be geared towards newer uh, silver stackers. But this is going to be a good message for everyone because everyone's curious about the current spot price of silver. I'm seeing a number of videos on it. I'm also seeing a lot of well, the world is ending, the sky is falling videos coming back, which is whatever. It's kind of common among silver stackers. Uh, in fact, I'm actually seeing some videos on this subject from some of my other favorite YouTubers. And I've already touched on this a million times and I'm not going to touch it. Um, Guys, we're gonna get through it. It's gonna be okay, relax, relax. The economy goes like this, and unfortunately, we're in this right now, but that's okay, because we're preparing for when it goes like this again. Anyway, silver spot price is gonna be dropping for a while. Then it's not like it's tanking, it's going down pennies at a time, but you know, those pennies add up after a while. And the biggest effect, uh, the biggest thing that's having an effect on spot price is quite frankly the Fed continuing need to raise the uh, interest rates. Now, as the dollar costs more, people invest less. And what affects silver spot price? It's people who invest in it on paper. Call next. For those of us that have been stacking long enough, we remember 2020 and the uh, silver squeeze and the silver shortage and people wanting to sell out of their Comex shares and the Comex not being able to make deliveries because, as we all know, they sell more silver on paper than they currently have silver on hand, which is stupid. It is. It's not just the gold market, but it's also the silver market. But the gold market is so small that Warren Buffett could take less than 5% of his cash and buy every registered ounce of gold on the Comex. Isn't that crazy? It's stupid. Why would you invest in an asset if you're going to do the exact same thing the U.S. government does with its U.S. dollar, which is print more than you should and not back it with anything? Whatever. The silver that we stack as silver stackers is completely different from the silver that they are actually referencing in the silver spot price. The silver spot price is affected by paper investors and people who are investing that way invest a lot less when the dollar becomes, quite frankly, more expensive, which it's continually to do. And that's the annoying truth of silver. 
And it's something we kind of get stuck having to live with. Here's another thing. I'm starting to see more videos on a silver shortage. I'm not saying there isn't one. I'm not saying their supply of physical silver, especially phys physical silver that we stackers purchase like uh, coins, rounds, and bars. I'm not saying that there isn't a silver shortage at all, but I do believe it tends to be way overhyped. I, I have been to my local coin shop and their shelves have been somewhat empty. Everyone's coming in and basically buying all their silver. I They do have a tendency to not be able to keep gold in stock, uh, but I, my local coin shop doesn't even deal with wholesalers. Everything they sell is stuff that's coming from the streets that they're buying off the street. They don't even buy from wholesalers. So uh, that's one thing. But for coin shops that do maybe have wholesalers and they're constantly telling you, especially in other people's YouTube videos about how they're having trouble getting this or they're having getting in trouble with that, don't completely give in to that hype because if they were really having that kind of trouble, their doors would be closed. They always seem to have something on hand, isn't that strange? And you have to remember with a business, it's all about inventory on hand and trying to get it out the door at the best possible price, right? So when it comes to inventory, and this is true for any retail, I'm just whether it's gold and silver, a grocery store, a comic book store, an adult video books, do they even have those anymore? Anyway, uh, if you have too much of something on inventory, you have to move it because the longer it sits in your store not moving, the more it's actually kind of costing you, uh, at least on paper. And you have to move that product. A lot of times when these bigger retailers have sales, including Atmex and Jam Bullion or your grocery store, the reason these items are on sale is because they are buying larger quantities of said item at a little bit of a probably cheaper rate and they're putting some of that savings onto you but they're also making a lot more money because it's not just about how much they're selling the item for, it's about how many items they can move and how quickly they can move them and that's what sales are there to do and generate. And I get the feeling that sometimes with certain coin shops, this is what's causing them to have shortages because uh, you know the what's popular in, in gold and silver shifts very quickly like right now the new britannias are very popular because they have the king on them uh and i'm seeing a lot of those are moving at least with the larger retailers and i wouldn't be surprised i haven't looked in the last couple of days but i wouldn't be surprised if we were to log on to amex one of the larger retailers that m maybe they're sold out already and that does tend to happen when they just release a new government minted coin Sometimes they just run out right away. And it doesn't mean there's a shortage. They are only gonna mint so many up front and then they go to sell them and they're gone for a minute and then a month or two later, oh, like they have more in stock again. So I'm not saying the silver shortage isn't real, but I am saying it is overhyped. And again, certain people like to use that as an excuse to build up the need for silver in our portfolio. And it, it's, you know, it's strange. I feel like all my videos, I'm here talking about, don't listen to this or be careful with this. Don't give into this certain hype, you know, but I'm still saying, do buy silver, do buy gold. It's just so strange how in our community, there's this certain subsect of people who want to tell you that the world is ending. Our economy is crashing. Prepare for the end by buying silver. Um, and I, I just don't get that. I... Uh, what are you basing that on? Um, uh, I don't know. I'm a history buff. I know a lot about American history and our economy. And, and I'm telling you, we always survive. I'm not saying times don't get hard, but I'm telling you, like compared to what some of our uh, like grandparents and great grandparents had to go to, not even in the Depression, but even in the 70s, I'm telling you, we ain't doing that bad. So relax. Make sure you're buying your gold and silver on a responsible purchasing plan within a proper household budget. And uh, just keep buying and saving and doing the best you can with what you have. And we're gonna get through this. Whoa, hi, God, yeah, you done snuck up on me. So I didn't hear you, I was too busy folding this beautiful Trader Bubba merch, which is available in the link below in the description. God, it's so pretty. Silver spot price 
Uh, I try not to make too many predictions, although I seem to do it all the time. Honestly, I, I think we're going to be flat around $20 for most of the year. And they, it's going to bounce between, I think, 19 and 22 probably throughout the year. We'll see what happens with the next Fed rate hike. But that's basically where we're stuck at. And it's just, it's going to be flat. Gold, I think, is going to stay relatively flat, which kind of sucks because gold tends to be the more stable of the two uh, metals, uh, especially in terms of slower and long-term growth. And gold has been somewhat volatile this last couple of years. And I think it's just, it's a reflection of what's going on in the silver market. And unfortunately, what's going on in the silver market has nothing to do with the physical silver, again, that you and I are buying. It's based on COMEX investments and investing on paper. I don't know what else to tell you guys, but to hang in there, don't worry about the spot price. Be mindful of where you're getting your information from. And they really ask, like, well, what are your sources? Even me, you know, what... You know, leave me a comment down below. Well, what makes you think that? How come you are saying this and somebody else is saying a different thing? Like, ask me, I'll tell you. <laughs> so I, I just, I want everyone to be safe with their purchasing. All right, guys, I'm Trader Bubba, as always. Stay safe out there.